Hello everyone, Bag Eyes here with another box. In this video, we are going to have an unboxing and reviewing of Nikon 55 to 300 mm f4.5 to 5.6G EDDX AFS VR lens in depth review. Here is the style which was inside the box the Nikon HP57 plastic lens hood, the beauty lens itself, and the Nikon pouch to keep the lens in. First thing first, the lens is so handy and it's in a good size. You know, easy to handle it and it's about 530 grams and in front of the lens we have a 58 millimeter cap so we can use any 58 millimeter filters and here I use a 58 millimeter UV filter to protect the lens at the back of the lens we have a metal mount which it is really good and well made and around the metal mount we have a rubber o-ring to give a dust protection and the lens has a 9 aperture blade included 17 elements in 11 groups. The lens is very small, light white and very powerful telephoto zoom lens and ideal for general photography, you know using normally or as a long telephoto lens but only for crop sensor DSLRs. Zoom ring is big enough to handle it easily and it moves pretty smooth, hmm, good one. But. Looks it has a small noise, can you hear it? It is like a motor or something. But not that much to bother you. Well another thing is it has a small distortion on 135 up to 300 millimeter. It moves good from 55 to 135 but from 135 up to 300 millimeter it moves just a bit slowly. Here is the focus ring in front of the lens, but to use it manual we have to switch it to manual and then use it manually. Looks good, but not that much interesting, you know, like a kit lens's focus ring, but it moves pretty good. And as we notice, the zoom ring and focus ring, both of them are external. On the side of the lens there are two switch buttons. The first one is for automatic and manual focus and the second is VR or vibration reduction on and off button. I'm mentioning that the lens has a second generation vibration reduction technology system. It is an AFS lens and of course it has a silent wave autofocus motor for smooth, accurate and quiet autofocus operation. But the lens is just a bit slow for action shoot. We will test the focusing speed and focusing noise and of course zoom test result at the end of the video. It is a DX lens for crop sensor DSLR so the effective focal lengths of 55 up to 300 mm became approximately 80 to 450 mm. VRO vibration reduction technology system is upgraded on this lens into the second generation and perfectly help when we hand holding the camera for sharper photos. Finally, the maximum aperture of the lens goes from f4.5 to 5.6. Let me load the lens on the camera, the Nikon D5300. Okay, put it in manual. Here we are in 55 millimeter. The maximum aperture is 4.5. And in 300 millimeter, the maximum is f5.6. But in 55 millimeter, the minimum aperture is f22. And in 300 millimeter, the minimum aperture is f29. So here we have a small telephoto lens with a small camera. Light and handy and easy to use. By the way, the lens has a nice and interesting plastic lens hood named Nikon HB57 and it matches easily on the lens. That's it. And that's how does it looks like with the lens hood. And like most of the lens, we can invert the hood on the lens. With the lens hood and without the hood. 
Now we're testing the focusing noise on D7200. Now let's test it with the cab. Here is the focusing speed test result on a tripod in different zoom range, near to the subject and further away from the subject. By the way, the focusing speed through the viewfinder is much faster than live view mode. Here is the zoom range of the lens from 55 up to 300 mm with T7200 on a tripod. 70 mm, 100 mm, 200 and 300. Back to the 55. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe the channel to see more videos. Have a great shooty day.